And I got this little tostada bag salad from Costco for like $3.99 and it looks delicious. Finding little things like this at Costco make me excited. <laughs> How can you go wrong, guys? Whoa! And there it begins. All right, here we go. Up on the roof. Alright guys, so we're up on the roof, there is four screws on each side of the roof vent. And you guys can see me back there. I haven't taken these off since I put the fan in there, I don't know, a year and a half ago. The roof up here is pretty dirty. <laughs> For being on here so long, these little tiny screws sure did the good job. All right. Boom, there we go. <laughs> oh, guys, we got a bit of a cleaning job to do. All right, so while we're up here, um, we're just gonna take a look at the seal around here. It's weird to see in my house. What's going on, crazy bear? He's like, what's happening? Yeah, totally weird to see. But all right, taking a look at the seal. The seal looks really, really good. Hold on, let me flip my camera. Taking a look at the seal around here, it looks really, really good. Not a single crack in here anywhere at all. Actually quite impressed. This lasted all this time with no problems. The screen on here ne definitely needs to go through the car wash, but we'll do that later. You know what, let's start taking this off. You would think after all this time, I would have taken this thing apart at least once just to clean it, or twice, or every month. But no, this gross human being, yes, that, that would be me. I haven't cleaned this thing at all. I think it's never really been a thought because I don't turn it on. It's not one of those little appliances in my van that I use on a regular, so I clean it on the regular. My roof vent is just there. It's always open. I very rarely turn it on. I could probably count on two hands how many times I've turned this fan on in the year and a half or whatever it's been since I've got it. I've had it for a long time. I like the roof vent idea, just the opening. And the reason why I chose the Max Air Fan is I love the cover on the top, the thing I'm pulling apart right now. I love that because when it's open, it's aerodynamic, it doesn't cause any rattles or fuss when I'm driving on the highway and it's wide open, but it also allows me to get fresh air in all the time. When it's a windy day outside, you can feel all that fresh air coming into the van. You can feel the bit of a breeze coming in from it, and it just makes me feel better. I know some would say, why would you spend that kind of money on a hole in your roof if you don't use the fan portion itself? Well, I didn't know if I would need the fan portion or not. So if you're gonna ask me, do you think it'd be best if I just cut a hole in my roof and put a, put a, like a little vent cover on it and no fan? No. I honestly think you guys that having the option to turn the fan on sometimes is a pretty great option. You know, because those days that you do need to crack the fan on, you can just crack the fan on and suck all that smell right out the roof. You know what I mean? Or bring in that fresh air when you guys need it. 
So now that I've gotten up here and cleaned this out, I'm probably going to end up doing this again on another day and really giving it a good thorough. You see, I didn't have the right kind of cleaners in hand. As you can tell, I'm having a hard time pulling all the oily things and stuff that were stuck on those blades. I couldn't believe it got so dirty from just being open. I got friends of mine who haven't cleaned their fans either, and they're not this dirty. I think mine's this dirty, because we got a dog. Next time I clean this thing, I'm going to be taking this fan out. It would be so much easier. I just don't feel like crawling down again off the roof of the van. <laughs> this would be not so bad if I had a damn ladder, but climbing up without a ladder, not so good. So all we gotta do now is make sure it still works. Power still works. And we're just gonna drop it back into the hole. And that's it. Drop some screws in here, and we are good to go. While we're just sitting here watching me put my roof vent back in, sure the screws are good and snug. let me tell you a little story about my vent. I lived in my van for one year with no roof vent at all. And I see it in my comments. I heard it so loud and clear when I first started my channel that you cannot live in a van without a vent. You need one. And I lived in it one year without one. You know, at the beginning I was broke. I had so many debts just stacked up and stress and things that I just, it was too much to take on. So. It was either I made the choice, I either put money towards my debt and get free, or buy things like a roof vent, or just ride it out without it and see how it went. And that's what I did. I lived in my van with no roof vent, no major luxuries, no solar, no batteries, nothing crazy like that at all. It was just me in a bare empty ass van and we rocked it. We rocked it and we came out on the other end happier and money in the bank. So if you're starting this life and you're like adding up the totals for everything and it's getting overwhelming and you're, you're getting frustrated about it, you know what? Just put a bed in the back of a damn van and go. Period. End of story. That's it. If you want to start van life, that's all you need to do. You don't need a luxury like a fan when you very first start. Always keep some windows cracked, keep some ventilation in your van, and be extra careful if you're running a propane heater. You see, I, I think I kept my condensation down because every time I parked somewhere, I left the doors of my van wide open. My van had fresh air all day long. You just gotta be mindful and be conscious about it. Do I think a roof vent is a great idea? Absolutely, yes I do. Do I think that you need to like, maybe not start van life because you can't afford a $300 roof vent? No. I think you should just throw a bed in their van and all the basics and go. If I can do it one year without it, so can you. But if you got the money guys, buy a roof vent. Trust me, having that little bit of fresh air makes your space inside of your van feel a little bit bigger. And it truly does. The roof fan kind of just opens up the freshness inside of your van. I'm glad I have mine. I just really need to start cleaning it more. It's kind of gross. This is why having a ladder is a good idea. 
then you don't gotta put yourself through that. Next time, I'm gonna be better prepared for that project. I think I might just unwire it, take it right out of there. That way you're not kneeling up on the roof trying to get things done. <laughs> Won't be doing it up there again. Let me tell you that one. All right, so uh, let's go get that, uh, that ladder of mine. Should be ready to pick up any time now. There's a little lizard in the tree. Buddy, I'm not gonna hurt you, pal. Shush, Cruzy. Hey, buddy. Hi. Well, <laughs> that's a wrap for today's video. We got a lot done today. I'm back in my bro's house and gonna chill and relax here for tonight. As you can tell, there is no ladder on the side of my van. They didn't quite get it finished, so I'll be picking that up tomorrow morning at eight o'clock before we jump back on the ferry and head over to the mainland to continue working on some van projects. Ah, we got so many little projects coming up before we leave on our Bex, bit Bex, that's not even a word, Chrome, on our next on our summer trip. Okay, it's been a long day. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video. I don't know when that's gonna be, maybe tomorrow, but I'll see you. Thanks for watching today, you guys. I know you've seen a few gaps and a few missing videos here and there. I'm just super busy right now trying to catch up on visiting all of my friends and my family stuff before I leave on my trip, plus doing some pretty big van renovations coming up. Thanks for watching, you guys, and I'll see you guys, well, whenever I upload another one. I appreciate you guys being here. All right. Take care. Bye. Peace out.